Hey guys, Josh here and in today's video I'm going to be taking a first look at Farming Life. This game just released on October 18th on Steam and the developer sent me a key for the game so I can check it out with you guys. It is very obviously a farming game, however I think it's more of a management game than a life simulator. So instead of just controlling one character you have to hire a lot of people and create new buildings and really manage like a bigger farm with a lot of employees and things. So we're gonna take a look at that. I don't know too much about this game beside the few screenshots that I've seen. So let's start first. Let's start with our farm. So I'm gonna go with Maple Farm and I'm guessing we're, I don't know if we're gonna get to create a character or not. No, I don't think we are. Oh, I was not expecting a cutscene, so we get a little cutscene. You know what this game reminds me of? There's another upcoming farming game called Harvest Days. Man, it does look somewhat similar to that, I think. But yeah, pretty cute cutscene. I love this art style. Um, very cute, very colorful. So I'm guessing we're gonna start with this house. But yeah, from the screenshot that I've seen, I think you can get a pretty big farm. And it looks like there's a lot of different animals as well. Um, like goats and geese and like pigs and like more than your typical just cows and sheep. So I'm looking forward to that. And it looks like we're gonna have to do some cleanup. Welcome to the farm. Oh, thank you. What a mess. We need to clean this up quickly before anything can be done here. Do you want to go through the tutorial to learn how to manage a farm? Yes, of course. In that case, let's get straight to the point. Alright, so the first thing we gotta do is just removing the rubbish. So you just click on the demolish tool and then just hold the left click. And it sells this stuff actually, so... It's a way to make a little bit of money at first. Alright, so next we're gonna make a field. So you just select this and you pick carrot so it's just ten dollars for a carrot field and you s oh, okay so you select the area that you want so like this and then if you hover over the field you can see there's humidity weeds control pest control and carrot so i'm assuming that's the growth of the carrot so it looks like we're gonna have to do more than just watering the crops we're gonna have to take other things into considerations maybe you have to use pesticides and things like that so um, that sounds pretty interesting and you need to assign a farmer to the field so we just have one employee right now so that's gonna be him so while my carrots are growing I'm assuming he's gonna get to work shortly I don't know if he's stuck looks like he's trying to walk trying to move but nothing's happening uh, so I'm just gonna cut some trees in the meantime so it's the same demolish button as uh, the one that I was using to collect the rubbish so you just do that. Oh, and I leveled up. And we're going to build something. So we're going to build a craft, which is kind of like a pen. So like this. Oh, and each craft has to be adjacent to the road. Otherwise, no one will be able to enter it. Let's build a road. So let's build a road like this. So we just have the sand road for now. So we're going to build that here. Oh, maybe that's the same for the field, actually, right? Maybe I should... Oh, well, I need to build a little rabbit house first. So let's build the rabbit house. And now let's add a rabbit. So just click on the rabbit house. $45 for one rabbit. So you get animals very quickly in this game. And then feeder, carrot feeder, $100. And I'm assuming you can probably rotate. Yeah, so if you hold the left click, you can rotate. So we're gonna place this here. And we need an employee, of course, to take care of it. So it seems like one employee can only do like one thing at a time. So this woman right here, she's gonna be working here with the rabbits. And oh, the game's on pause, so that's why the people are not moving right now it's because the game is paused yeah you can change the speed of the game like in any good management game so now they get moving so they're gonna go to work and now they want me to cut more trees so I'm assuming we're gonna build something here as well 
So we're gonna build this silo. So the silo is for storing large amounts of products. So let's build that. And yes, you can rotate buildings as well, but I'm gonna leave this one like this. Every new storage building increases your overall storage capacity. You have access to all your resources from any of your granaries, silos, or even the headquarters. The building is here, but there's no way to get there. Okay, so let's build another low road. Like this, and now let's take a look at the daily newspaper. Okay, let's see what's in there. Okay, so there's two competitions. Mayor competitions, so these are kind of like challenges. Take a chance in mayor competition to gain a rewards and mayor's trust. This is your path to become a world-class farmer and serve your community in the best way. Complete all the challenges to discover a special surprise that grateful city dwellers will prepare for you. So first is the annual carrot contest, so let's see what we gotta do. So we need to collect 10 carrots in 3 days, I think that's feasible, so let's sign up for this. Sam, oh, so apparently our name is Sam, you don't really get to pick your name. And alright, so let's check our progress, mayor competition, so I collected zero carrots so far. So I'm guessing we're just gonna have to wait a few days, oh, they're actually growing really really fast. Um, I don't know if he's harvesting them already. Oh yeah, he already, oh wow. So I don't know if they grew super fast because of the tutorial or if they always grow <laughs> that quick. Uh, but I'm just gonna speed up the game. As you can see, it's 8.30, you can do uh, times one, times three, or times six for the speed. So I'm just gonna see what happens with these carrots. Yeah, so he's picking them up, and then he's bringing them into the house. And I've completed the task, so that was a pretty <laughs> easy task, actually. So let's get our reward, and what did we get? Oh, we received permission to expand your land, so let's do that. Click here to move to a place where you can buy new plots. Okay, so let's go to the municipal office. And okay, so it looks like there's a town here where maybe we're gonna be able to do some uh, shopping. It looks like all of these buildings are blocked, but maybe we're gonna be able to do some shopping in these things. But yeah, for now there's just the municipal office and select the area you wanna purchase. So we don't have too much choice for now. Let's buy this. And now the farm is expanding, so, oh yeah, you can see the fence is, yeah, we have a lot more space and we're gonna be able to expand more and more as we play a little bit more. And now they want me to cut some trees again, so let's cut some trees. So expand the field by selected tiles, so you can expand the field directly like this. Alright, and now they want me to make space for a garden. So we're gonna make a garden area. So the garden is for resting and for orchard. So for fruit trees. So we're gonna build that here. We're gonna build a little road. I'm assuming there's gonna be more road types later. Now there's just a sand one. Oh, we're actually gonna build a beehive now. So let's put a little beehive in here. Now plant a bush, so let's Put some blueberry bush right beside the beehive and put a bench for employees to rest. So I'm gonna put it here so they can rest just, just beside the bees so they don't rest too too much and they keep working. It would be difficult for only us two to do all the work. It's a good idea to hire someone to help. Hire a new employee. Yes, okay, so let's hire someone. So we gotta go to the employment agency. And let's see if there's some good people here. Tobias. Agriculture, three animals, three production, three, so all around pretty good employee, I think. Uh, so let's hire him. And now they want me to check the vehicle shop. So that's all the shops available. Trade center, employment agency, parts shop, vehicle shop. Yeah, lots of different things, but yeah, I gotta go buy a vehicle for now. Click on the building. So I need, oh. I needed to be level 5 to buy the vehicle, so I actually cannot buy it right away. And my employee has arrived in town. So let's select him and let's relocate him to our little garden so he can work on a beehive and on the blueberries. And hopefully he does some good work. And you can see they have a rest bar, so 
yeah, you do have, it's kind of like in Roller Coaster Tycoon or like most management game where you have to make sure your employees are happy. So that's pretty good. It's definitely different from your typical farming sim where you just control one character. So I think the idea, the concept of this game is pretty nice. Um, if you need a change from just regular farming sims, uh, in the meantime, you can speed up the time. Oh, yes, I figured that out already. Oh, and now there's a cat and dog. In all the commotion, we forgot to check if anyone lives here. Oh, <laughs> luckily they look clean and healthy. Probably a neighbor fed them. The dog and the cat will definitely help us on the farm, repelling rodents and foxes. It's worth taking care of them. Let's play with our dog. Select an employee. So we're going to select Linda to play with the dog. So Linda, go on the dog and pet. Perfect. Play with the pets to make them happy. A dog and a cat would help you on your farm. Let's sell the carrots we harvested and buy food for our animals. We're gonna drive the pickup to the town, select an employee and remove his tasks. So, Linda, stop your tasks and move to the vehicle here. Oh, I already have a vehicle actually. Okay, I did not notice that. I'm not too sure why they wanted me to go to the vehicle shop earlier. Um, I think Linda is stuck, you know what? I think... Oh no, never mind. she's fine. Okay, so let's drive the vehicle. The employee is now in the vehicle. Drive to the silo. So you just have to click to drive. Load carrots on the truck. Select the silo. Move products. So we're gonna move all our 45. Oh, take all actually. And yeah, and then we're gonna wait for Linda to do her thing. Now we need to deliver our carrots to the trade center, lead employee to the car. So, Linda, go back into the car. I can feel it getting kind of tedious having to click on everything every time. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of like clicking back and forth between the different things. But let's go to the trade center and let's park the car here. Park to trade and now we need to wait for Linda to arrive. I wish you could drive the car by yourself. Um, Okay, so Linda's here. Oh, that's not a really good parking, but anyway. Uh, open trade center and... Okay, so let's click here. Let's sell everything like this. Oh, buy 10 pieces of raw meat and 10 bottles of milk. So... Wait, how much did this? 10 meat, right? And how much milk? I think he said 10, right? Yeah, okay. Anyway, that's good. And let's drive the car to the silo. Select the vehicle. The employee is now in the vehicle, drive to the silo. So it's just a lot of like clicking around. I wish you could just like click on the silo, select an employee and like they would go in the car by themselves without having to click on the car every time. And like click on all the buildings every time. Who knows, maybe I'm gonna get um, used to it. I just, it's not too bad for now, but I feel like this is something that is gonna get tedious once I have more employees and more things to do. Um, yeah, just my impression so far. Get out of the car to do this. Click on the car and then on the get out icon. Like, I wish I could just somehow select Linda and tell her to go here directly. But I do have to click on the car. Ask her to get out of the car. And then move all items from the car to the silo. So, click on Linda. Click on the car. Move products. And then take all... And then click on Linda and then click on the silo. Like, it's just a lot of steps, right? Our products are now in a safe place. Congratulations. Let's move on. I finished the tutorial. Yay! Uh, now you can start to produce food for the local community and take part in challenges. Okay, so let's try to do some more challenges. So, the music is getting on my nerves a little bit, I gotta say. <laughs> I hope you guys are okay. Uh, farming time. So, let's check out if there's... Okay, so I can't do any more competitions until I level up a little bit more. So, let's see here. Oh, here you can see your inventory. You can see uh, your employees. You can see everything you have in your... Oh, I already have corn and wheat. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but I do have that. I have apples, which I'm not sure where they are, where they're coming from. I have more milk and meat than I bought. So I'm not too sure. I've got some stuff that I'm not sure where it's coming from. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to tell... Oh, I think Sam wants to tell me something. No, but he's getting a bit tired. But you know what? I think he's going to be fine. 
Actually, he looks a bit bored, so you know what? I think I'm gonna make his carrot field a little bit bigger because I think he has. He's just waiting for the carrots to grow. Um, so yeah, he's not being very productive right now. So let's expand this like this, and you know what? A little bit more like this. So he's gonna be busy, and I think I can probably expand this as well i feel like my rabbit would be happy with a little bit more space like this oh level up which is good uh, actually i'm not too sure what happens <laughs> when you level up well i guess it unlocks new challenges right and unlocks new things um uh, yeah okay so i'm not too sure who that scarecrow is is that me or is that i'm not sure um okay so now let's assign Linda to go back here and maybe I need to buy a few more rabbits right so where can I see my money so I have 949 yeah let's buy some rabbits uh, I'm not too sure what you can make with the rabbits or oh, maybe meat uh, I'm not too sure exactly but um, yeah okay so he's planting carrots um, maybe I could make another field with something else a little bit later so there's lots of different vegetables there's also grains there's also trees so maybe i could plant some more trees here uh i think tobias is probably getting bored right so let's plant a little plum tree here and let's plant another plum tree and another plum tree like this and i guess i'm gonna make this area Oh, wait, do I need to water them? Hmm? Uh -huh. I'm not sure if I need to... Hmm? I'm not sure... Looks like there's something wrong with him. Uh, I'm not sure why he's waving, like like there was something wrong. But... I'm not sure, maybe there's... No, I don't know. Oh, no, okay, he's fine, he's watering them now, okay. It's kind of like The Sims, right? Where sometimes <laughs> they want to tell you something and you're not too sure what they're trying to tell you. Uh, actually, I want to expand. Okay. I'm going to tell this guy to work here and stop moving. I want to expand this area, but I'm not too... Oh, okay. I figured it out. Okay, I need to cut the trees first. Okay, you know what? Let me cut the trees. Okay, so now click on this. So you have to really click on the fence. And let's expand and quite a bit like this i wish the fence would connect with the outside fence but anyway not a big deal and can you move things so if i want to move my bench if i want to move my beehive i'm not too sure how so i can sell stuff which i don't want to destroy them i don't want to sell them yeah i'm not too sure how you can just move something i'm sure it's something you can probably do um and oh yeah so you can see he's collecting the blueberries so he's being productive now which is good uh, but yeah i'm not too sure how i can move stuff around which is bothering me a little bit but let's plant some raspberries here i don't have too much money actually let me i'm gonna plant some pears like this so i think this guy is gonna be pretty busy now and let's check on our buddies. So, Linda, she's uh, cleaning the rabbits. Oh, Anna needs your help. Do you want help? Oh, sure. What's up, Anna? Quest started. Onion rings. Oh, she needs 16 onions in four days. Okay, that sounds pretty feasible. You know what? I said earlier that this game looked very similar to Harvest Days. I'm wondering if they're not using the same models. Because I... I don't know if you guys played the demo for Harvest Days, if any of you played, it was quite buggy, actually, so I I was supposed to make a video on it, but that didn't turn out very well, but I'm pretty sure it was this exact same model, uh, woman, girl, anyway, uh, 16 onions, so let's make some onions, and I think there's another letter here, oh, there's some, please bring me hay, 30 hay, okay, Let's do that. So I need to get 30 hay. I need to get 16 onions. And okay, so we're getting busy. So let's go back home and 
You know what? I think we might have to hire someone else because this poor Sam. Oh, that is Sam. Oh, I was wondering who was Sam. Okay, so I guess that's like the main character, right? Okay, so yeah, let's make another field. So I'm gonna go to the employment agency and let's try to find us a nice little farmer. Someone good in agriculture, so maybe Diane. Oh, John. John is pretty good in agriculture. You know what? Let's go with John. Oh, not enough money. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go sell our blueberries first, right? So I'm gonna ask Tobias to abort task and then Tobias to come here. Hey ho, Tobias. I think he's stuck. I don't know. I'm. Oh, move products. Oh, no. Move product. Oh, okay. No, okay. All right. So, yeah, I've got meat. I've got. I've got stuff that I'm not too sure where it's coming from. Also, they asked me to buy meat and cow milk earlier. And I'm not sure why I had to buy that. So I'm just going to sell everything back, you know. So, yeah, let's take everything I can. And now let's bring it to the truck. Oh, so actually you can click on sell every... Okay, so he, he's going to sell everything automatically. So we don't have to click... Maybe it's, it was just for the tutorial that they wanted us to click on the shop to sell it, but you actually don't have to do that every time. Raw meat is running. Yeah, everything's running low because I'm just selling everything. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, he's the guy that. Okay, he's the guy that wants hay. Okay, so anyway, so Tobias is gonna sell the stuff. So now I'm at. Oh, he's already done. That was really quick. Okay. Oh, cat needs food. Oh my gosh, I forgot. That's why I bought meat and milk. That was for the <laughs> that was for the cat and the, the oh my gosh I feel so bad I just sold their food completely forgot about the my pets uh, it's okay okay let's make some space oh yeah I need to yeah I didn't hire anyone actually you, you know because I didn't have the money so now let's hire John okay and okay I'm gonna go buy food for the pets I feel so bad okay um. So she looks quite busy, right? So you know what? I'm gonna ask Tobias to go back to town, abort task, and go in the truck. Yeah, sometimes I'm not sure. It seems like they're not always behaving. Okay, so let's uh, drive. It's kind of weird you can drive as passenger. As far as I know, if you are a passenger, <laughs> you're not driving. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the store. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to stand this music for <laughs> much, much longer. Uh, oh, there's a lot happening here. Oh, there's like a biker. Biker thing. I don't think I can park here. Unfortunately, I can't interact with them. Um, okay, I'm looking for the store, which I can't find. So I'm going to go here. Trade center. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's park here. I wonder if the shops are open like 24 hours. Oh, night is coming. Let's see our stats and compare them with local farmers. Oh. Nice, nice. One, six, so I've been doing pretty good today, right? All right. Oh, and it brings you back to your farm. So I don't know if... Yeah, maybe I sent Tobias to town a little bit too late. Let's see. Sometimes you have to take a step back to take two steps forward. Oh, what happened? Oh, I couldn't... Oh, I think I... Failed one of the quests. Cat needs food. Doug needs food. Okay, so I need to get stuff for them. Uh, John arrived on the farm. Okay, so John. Okay, let me build something. Okay, it is definitely getting busy um, in this game. Okay, so let's start with building. Oh, wow, there are so many buildings. Oh, you need to build more lodging, right? If you want to have more employees. There's butcher shop, smokehouse, oh, garage, goat cheese factory, bakery, windmill, big lodging, dough factory. Wow, well, there's a lot of different buildings. Decoration, if you want to decorate, you can decorate. I just want to plant stuff. Um, so we needed onions, right? So let's do maybe this for onion. And we needed hay as well. Wait, is the hay gonna be 
That's gonna be just the grass, right? I think that would be just grass, right? It's gonna make hay, I think. Am I wrong? Um, okay, so let's pick John. Let's see how John is doing. So let's check our notifications. And John has nothing to do. So let's pick John. Oh, there's a little crate here. I think there's something in there. Oh, yeah. Let's take that. And... I'm not too sure what's inside the crate, but let's let's bring it home, I guess. Maybe if I can click here. No. Once again, I'm not sure why I still have, like, I have milk. Where's the milk coming from? Where's the wheat coming from? Where's the... I'm not too sure. I'm a little bit confused. But anyway, I'm gonna tell him to work here. Oh, he can't work on two different crops. Oh, so I would need, like, a third employee to do the onions. I see. So you know what? I think. Okay, I really need. I really need to buy food for my pets. My oh, look at his stats. That poor little cat. Um. Okay. So Tobias. Tobias. Where is Tobias? So I'm guessing. Oh yeah, that's nice. You can see all your employees here. You can click on them. Oh yeah, he didn't go to. Yeah, he went to the biker place. Uh, but that's not where I want him to go. So let's go trade center. And then, oh, and then select Tobias again. And then, okay. So let's click on the trade center. Okay, park to trade. Okay, so now he should be on his way. Uh, I'm not too sure what Tobias is doing. Um, he's just really taking a long time to go. Wait, he's not... I'm not too sure why he's not driving. Okay, let's try this again. So, for example, if I want him to move from here to there. No. Is he stuck? Okay, let's try something. Uh, abort task. And then... Park to trade. No, I don't think. Mm, abort task. I'm not too sure what's happening. What if I say drive to garage? Is he gonna? No. Okay, let's do one more thing. Abort task. Drive to garage. You know what? I think he's really stuck. I don't know if it's because he stayed there overnight. And his rest is good so like his stats are fine he's not like tired or anything yeah this game is not an early access by the way that's the uh, full release okay cat needs healing oh no poor cat okay um okay i think these rabbits have enough care so let's stop taking care of them for a little bit and let's feed i got some milk i'm not sure how i did that but yeah feed the cat let's clean the cat Let's heal the cat. And you can put things in a queue, kind of like in The Sims, right? So you can see she has like more than one tasks uh, at a time. Okay, so the cat is all good now. So let's find the dog. Let's find the dog, which I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure where it is. Oh, there it is. Not sure what it's doing there, but let's feed him. Once again, I don't know why or how I got the meat, but yeah all right so i have a lot of carrots i can probably sell and wait wasn't john working on this john oh he's moving pro wait he's stuck there with his box abort task okay let's so you go here okay so let's see if there's a challenge let's see if there's a new challenge i need to get 30 beetroot uh, okay, I have a lot of... Okay, let's just accept it. But I do have a lot of quests. And that would give me 13 experience. Woohoo. Uh, which is really not a lot. Because I need 140 just to go uh, to level 5. Okay, so... I'm not sure why they're always waving like this. Like they're needing something. But actually, I think he's fine. Oh, night is coming. Take care of your fields and animals. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna ask Linda to take care of the onions because I don't have too much time for that quest 
uh, sorry, that's the gra no, this one is the grass, this one is the onions, anyway. So that's gonna grow, and once he's done with the picking up the carrots, oh, too late. So today's gain, today gain, plus four. All right, next day, another day for this music. And so it seems like, yeah, they're putting the pesticides automatically. So I don't think you have to worry too much about weeds control or pest control. I'm not, it seems like they're all doing it automatically when they're working on the field. Yeah, so I don't think that's something you have to worry about too much. Okay, so now we've got the carrots. So I'm gonna ask Sam to... Oh wait, we don't have the truck anymore, right? Okay, let's see if Tobias is doing a little bit better. He's still stuck, abort task. Yeah, drive to garage. When, what if I ask him to sell the vehicle? No, bring it to bot equipment place. Yeah, so I... The truck is stuck and I need my truck to complete any of my quests. I need my truck to sell stuff. So without the truck, I really cannot do much. You know what? I think we've got a pretty good idea of like the gameplay loop. So it is definitely like a management game. So maybe if you like city builders and like games like Roller Coaster Tycoon or like management games in general, it's and you like farming sims, that could be a great combination because I do like management games. I do love farming sims. So you would think that these two types of games together would make the perfect game. But it's not really the case, unfortunately. Um, I feel like the game feels very rough. It feels a bit janky, like clunky and unfinished. And a few things are not clear. And there's a lot of like clicking around unnecessarily. And the music, this music is really getting on my nerves. However, the one good thing is that this game is less than $10. So I think it was $9.49 Canadian. So I think in USD, it's around $8. So um, it's definitely on the cheaper side. But if you're asking me, should you get this game? I think at that price point, or if you want to pay a bit more, there's so many great management games um, that you can get, or there are so many great farming games that you can get for the same price. So as much as this idea sounds very good, um, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to play this game more. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to play this game too much more than that, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to sell my rabbits. Can you sell them? No. Oh yeah, you can sell them automatically, you don't have to go to town or anything. So let's just sell all of our rabbits. And I think we can call it a day. Let me know guys what you think of this game, let me know if you've played it, or if you want to play it, if you want to buy it, if, if you want to give it a chance, or not. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it uh, for me today guys. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'm gonna see you all in the next one. Hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to show you something. So I was talking about a game called Harvest Days earlier and I went back to Harvest Days. So this is the demo and I don't think it's exactly the same asset, but this guy looks so much like Sam. They're almost exactly the same. Uh, so I'm just gonna, yeah, this guy, this guy right there, the grandpa is, that's exactly the same actually. So I'm pretty sure they're using the same assets. They're not the same developers, so maybe it's just like an asset you can buy uh, for game dev and Yeah, I'm pretty sure that yeah, these are the same characters, right? So these guys didn't make their own models here. We are so this game is being developed by uh, family devs as you can see and Okay, let's go out. I'm not gonna play this game too too much. I played it a bit a while ago and who knows, maybe it's gonna be better. Uh, so here's Sam, but he's just a grandpa here. And he's basically the same thing with a beard. But yeah, I'm not gonna bother too, too much um, with this. Let me know if you guys wanna see more of this game, but the little bit that I've played is, I don't think it's worth a whole video on its own. I don't wanna be too, I don't wanna make a whole video just bashing a game, but 
it's I've played better things uh, but okay I want to go over there so if I remember well there's an area where there's like two characters running in circle and one of them is the exact same model as the one we saw earlier and she's very tiny I think she's supposed to be a child but it's like an adult model but like smaller like it, it looks super weird so i don't know if they're still here i think since the last time i played this actually changed a little bit yeah there used to be like two people running around here but they're no longer here but anyway if you look at her right that oops that's that's her right that's the same girl that we saw in the other game so yeah it just makes the game feel a bit lifeless when they're like this is the same girl with a different shirt right um i think all the vendors are called rachel because she's rachel and she doesn't have anything to sell actually but if i go talk to him oh he's not rachel what about oh i saw more rachels earlier oh rachel yeah yeah he's rachel too all the vendors are rachel this one this guy is rachel as well this guy rachel this girl, Rachel, all Rachels. I'm trying to find the little characters running around. Oh, there is a playground here. They might be here now. I think the playground was in here last time I checked out this game. But they were just like miniature people. Like they were using the same models as the adult, but they were just like super small. That was kind of cute, kind of weird, actually. <laughs> uh, Oh, oh I, I think I found them. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so glad I found them. I was so afraid I wouldn't be able to find them. Uh, I just need to go across that fence. All right. So here they are, guys. So these are supposed to be kids. But they just took the same models as the adult and just, like, reduced the size. So they definitely don't look like kids, especially with these clothes. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of ridiculous. It's just... <laughs> just a little bit funny and yeah everybody's dressing the same way but yeah i'm not gonna bother with this game too much guys so thank you so much for watching and yeah i'm gonna see you all in the next video bye bye